Welcome back to Chai Chat with Lavina, where we are talking about the issue and the problem of food and hunger in the world. Very quickly, I said in the first one, हम बहुत बातें करते हैं बड़ी-बड़ी किताब ये million आठ लोग नौ लोग कितने भूखे रहते हैं. But I want to know what is it that a person watching this show can do and contribute, and what is it that you personally do and contribute towards this issue? Alfred, should I start with you? As a chef, I think uh, the important advice I can give the consumer is to uh, purchase your ingredients more frequently. That often leads directly to uh, a reduced amount of waste. And uh, plan your meals in such a way where you utilize what's in the refrigerator rather than just look at a recipe and go and buy the whole lot. Uh, sadly, the the way our ingredients work in our supermarkets, um, for example, celery. You you buy a a bunch of celery and you most often use one tenth of it. And uh, before your uh, recipe that calls for celery comes back uh, in a week or so later, that's probably uh, not fit for consumption. Uh, I think the, the the important thing is to make food choices based on ethics. Uh, based on sustainability, um, Fair Trade, for example, is a fantastic organisation that I also um, work with, and they ensure a fair wage to the farmer. They ensure uh, a fair wage along the supply chain. I think uh, there are a lot of things that we blame the millennials for, but uh, they make food choices based on lifestyle, and it's almost as personal to them as their politics might be. Uh, they are happy to pay a premium for a product that uh, ticks other boxes, such as ethics and sustainability. And I think that is the way forward to make every food choice of ours count. Brilliant, interesting point. Uh, uh, of course. The very two very interesting points, of course, that you buy so much as you need. So pantry taken off, huh? and, and and also buy freight road and buy frequent. Yes, sir. I, I just think. We need to have a, a multi-dimensional but symbiotic relationship with food. First of all, I think we need all of us. We need a lot more tehrav <laughs> in our lives, and our relationship with food needs to have that wonderful pause. I think system alluded to companionship. Uh, there is that companionship with food and with Mother Earth and wherever it comes from. So, through the line, production, distribution, manufacturing, but even in our homes. I think we should bring back the dining table as a focal point of the family and homes. We should we should make sure that dining table is is a place where we bring our best selves and serve ourselves the best that we can we can do for our body. So I think getting to know our relationship with food, improving it on a daily basis, and working with the ecosystem, the environment, Mother Nature. Everything, the governments, a civil society, activists, to really, really redimensionalize yeah. our relationship. Food, with food for the body, not for for soul. For food, soul. Food for yeah, soul. got it. But I'm going to come very quickly. One liner each from what you do, huh? Because that you have all, all suggesting is Tristram. I. So in terms of what we do, I think absolutely as consumers looking after the food that we have, make sure we don't waste it. Eat less meat and dairy than you might otherwise. But it's important to remember that every consumer is also a citizen. And as citizens, I think we have the power and indeed the responsibility to stand up to the corporate practices that result in food waste, that result in the destruction of the environment for the production of profit. And as citizens, if we volunteer for an organization like the Akshaya Patra uh, organization, feeding hungry people, that can feel good. It participates in the kind of solution, but also demanding that our legislators change the law. In India, a law was passed to limit the number of dishes that could be served at a wedding. Why? Because there was public outcry totally about the kind of food waste. In France, we passed a law about stopping supermarkets from wasting food. Here in the UK, we stopped the supermarkets from making farmers waste the food. And those laws are a reflection of public outcry, of public demand. They're a codification of the citizens' morals. And therefore, as citizens, I think, by standing up, by articulating, even to the point of joining the thing that's going on here in London, just down the road, the Extinction Rebellion. This is an international rebellion. It's active in India also. Just today, the Red Brigade were out in India. And what they're doing is saying the whole system is extracting value from nature, destroying Mother Earth. 
and turning it into profit for corporations. And unless we stop that, all the other efforts that we're going to to make the world fairer and more sustainable will be wasted. I can see the passion, but I do completely agree. I know people want to agree Absolutely. not to serve 30 sweet dishes in one shadi. You know, one of the uh, misfortunes of being the last speaker is all your talking points have been taken by others. <laughs> So, I would say, I would, I would quote, uh, you know, a friend of mine, a fellow author in India, Rujuta Devekar and a celebrity nutritionist, I'm sure you've heard of her. One of the things she says repeatedly is eat local, right? Uh, rather than, you know, in, in India, rather than eating, I've got nothing against New Zealand, lovely country, but rather than eating kiwi apple, eat, eat Indian apple because the carbon footprint is less. And what she says most importantly, if you eat food that is local, that is seasonal, it is naturally in tune with what your body needs. So it's in your selfish interest as well. It, it's good for your health. Uh, you get more fresh product because if you're getting it from halfway around the world, it's frozen. God knows what all processing has been done on it. So carbon footprint is lower if you eat local, it's healthier, it's good for you, it's one of those rare things which is good for the environment, good for the world and in your own selfish interest. So do it, eat local. Local and seasonal. Yeah. So aap kya karte? what is it that you do? Quickly, one line. I eat local and seasonal. My biggest problem is this is the first time I'm living in the UK. I've been here 10, 10 days. So how am I going to adapt to this food is, is a bit of a challenge but I'll try my best. Namakkam, namakkam. <laughs> I can just say namakkam. Yeah. I don't need that much here. Uh, in my personal life, I grow my own food, uh, I, almost all of it. I have, in my past time, been feeding thousands of rebels during the Extinction Rebellion with the partner of Akshaya Patra, the Food for All here in London, feeding them thousands of free vegan meals every single day, feeding the rebelli, oh. un, the rebellion, you can't oh. have it unless it's belly. But then in my professional life, uh, I founded the charity feedback it campaigns on food waste globally and I also launched this company which makes beer out of bread that would have been wasted oh. which by the way I did not invent the ancient Babylonians invented beer to preserve grains like bread and turn it into a long shelf life product thank you I like I'm inviting myself to your house for lunch or dinner whatever you like well I think personally I try and improve my relationship with food every single day so every single day I try, and, I try and understand my body a little bit better, what I put into a little bit better, where it comes from a little bit better. And I try and really nudge uh, friends and family around it. Professionally, we serve, uh, um, and this is not personal or professional, Akshay Patra is my life. Uh, we serve more than 1.8 million children the best possible food that not only they can get, but the best possible food that is good for them in the context of education. Brilliant. Thank you. There is no greater saying than we are what we eat. And so uh, I'd also add to what Bhavani said in the sense that make that relationship with your food count. Um, it's, it's what you're putting into your own bodies. Um, make the right decisions and uh, make what sure... What do you do? What do you do personally? I, I, I look at food as medicine. Uh, eat well and you live healthy. Thank exactly. you very, very much. Rishta, khane se banai and pause think food for soul and for body not only for the eyes that's important seasonal local grow your own food uh, and don't waste buy less i think that's that i like and shadiyon ke kam kare don't get so much food people only eat this much and that's all they need thank you very much what is your contribution that you want to make towards food you can twitter me at lavina tandon or you can write to me on chai chat at ashtag.com one step at a time but every penny counts someone has said i won't quote who and every step counts too towards the eradication of hunger in the world thank you take care and god bless